Small businesses drive our global economy. They are also appealing targets for fraudsters because they typically have little or no security knowledge and few, if any, controls in place. For this reason, it's critical that the payment applications they use don't introduce additional risk. When building payment applications, developers play an important role in helping merchants minimize the risk of compromises, including safeguarding the storage of sensitive data and assuring compliance with best practices for industry security standards. If recent trends in data compromises are any indication, the need for payment application developers to adopt these best practices has never been greater. In this module, you will learn about important payment industry security standards, which are a critical step in assuring that your clients have a solid foundation for accepting secure payments. First, let's examine the required standards. The first standard is the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, or PCI DSS. PCI DSS is the global data security standard that businesses of all sizes must adhere to in order to accept payment cards. PCI DSS details the requirements for processing, transmitting, and storing cardholder data. The second standard is the Payment Application Data Security Standard, or PADSS. PADSS helps software vendors and others develop secure payment applications that do not store sensitive data. All card brands require that all merchants remain PCI compliant. This means working with PADSS compliant applications, or PCI DSS compliant custom development. Let's look at each of these standards in more detail. Merchants are responsible for complying with all rules, regulations, and industry standards concerning the secure handling of cardholder data. This applies to all steps in the payment process, including transmission and storage of the data. PCI DSS was established and is maintained by the PCI Security Standards Council a body comprised of global payment brands and strategic members that oversee all aspects of PCI DSS. As a developer, it's critical that you learn and understand PCI DSS requirements. Knowing what is required of merchants will help you better develop secure solutions for your clients. Even if you are not developing the payment part of a merchant's solution, there are still portions of PCI DSS that you must adhere to. To learn more, we suggest you review the PCI DSS Quick Reference Guide on the PCI Security Standards Council website, located at PCISecuritystandards.org. The Payment Application Data Security Standard, or PADSS, is an additional standard administered by the PCI Security Standards Council. PADSS applies specifically to software developers and integrators who distribute payment applications. PADSS should be used as a baseline standard for development of all payment applications. If your application will store, process, or transmit cardholder data in any manner, you must comply with this standard. Card brands require that merchants use compliant applications. Your application can be validated with the PCI Council and listed on their website as validated applications or ones that are PADSS compliant. Custom development must be certified as PCI DSS compliant. Secure payment applications when properly implemented following PADSS best practices minimize the potential for data security breaches and help prevent the potentially damaging fraud which often results. To learn more, review the PADSS requirements on the PCI Security Council website at www.pcisecuritystandards.org. Please note that Authorize.net plays no role in the establishment or enforcement of PCI DSS or PADSS requirements. Questions regarding PCI DSS or PADSS should be directed to the PCI Security Standards Council or a Qualified Security Assessor, or a Payment Application Qualified Security Assessor. 
We'll talk more about security assessments and validating compliance later in this video. Developers should review the Payment Card Industry Security Standards Council PCI DSS e-commerce guidelines. The guidelines include an overview of typical e-commerce components and common implementations. In addition, they provide high-level PCI DSS scoping guidance for these implementations. Developers should carefully review the PCI DSS e-commerce guide section on common vulnerabilities in e-commerce environments. In particular, special emphasis should be given to the top three coding practices that lead to insecure integrations. Injection flaws, cross-site scripting, and cross-site request forgery. SQL injection flaws are exploited by sending a rogue SQL command to a website's back-end database. While mitigating SQL vulnerabilities only requires simple, prudent coding practices, SQL injection continues to be one of the most common methods by which e-commerce websites are compromised. Cross-site scripting is also the result of poor validation practices. It allows an attacker to place code in the victim's browser that hijacks the browser session and redirects the victim to a malicious website. Cross-site request forgery is when a website exploit allows unauthorized commands to be transmitted to a website. The forged command then appears legitimate to the website. This is a common method used for online identity theft. The PCI DSS e-commerce guidelines document is available on the PCI Security Standards Council website. Be sure to carefully read and implement the guidelines and follow them closely when building your payment application integrations. Authorize.net's robust APIs help merchants comply with a range of PCI DSS requirements, including offering developers a variety of payment, customization, and data storage options. As a developer, your role is to clearly understand your merchant's business and security requirements and apply the appropriate security and integration methods that will comply with PCI DSS and PA DSS standards. In addition to the information you will find at the PCI Security Council website, there are several other useful resources available regarding web security. The Open Web Application Security Project, or OWASP, is one such resource. OWASP is a worldwide, not-for-profit organization focused on improving the security of software. Learn more at OWASP.org. The Visa Cardholder Information Security Program maintains a website with multiple resources for merchants and developers. It offers alerts, bulletins, and webinars to help developers better understand their responsibilities related to securing cardholder data. This website is also where Visa issues security alerts when vulnerabilities are detected in the marketplace. Visit Visa's data security website at visa.com slash CISP. Just as Authorize.net plays no role in the establishment or enforcement of PCI DSS or PA DSS regulations, Authorize.net also does not play any role in validating a specific merchant's PCI DSS compliance. A Qualified Security Assessor, or QSA, is a data security firm that has been trained and is certified by the PCI Security Standards Council to perform on-site security assessments for verification of compliance with PCI DSS. To find QSAs recommended by Authorize.net, please visit the Merchant Toolbox at authorize.net slash QSA. This concludes this section of the Authorize.net Certified Developer Training.